What's up? My name is Brandon Gross, and if you're new to the channel, I'm an adrenaline enthusiast that's been living full time on the road in this converted school bus for the past two and a half years. Usually, you can find me underground exploring some claustrophobic caves or jumping off of just about any and everything I can find. But welcome to my channel, where the main goal is a life worth living. Got the outlets wired in, just wired up all of these plug ends that feed the outlets. Getting ready to neaten up these wires, but I have one more that I gotta bring into here, so I'm gonna wait until I do that. All the 110 electrical, pretty much done now. Another thing to check off the list. And now I am heading to Home Depot for the second time today. I am so tired of going to Home Depot. Got the first set of hinges installed. Let's go throw it in and see if it works. Works flawlessly. Even got the soft clothes on it. Bingo, bango, bongo. Now I just gotta do one big one there. I'm not sure what I gotta do there yet. Something here, I might make these ones open this way. I don't know. And then one more there. And then build a drawer. I highly doubt I can do all of that today, but if I could, that'd be amazing. Then I got the next one cut. Works great. And then I just built the shelf in here, got the wires a little bit neatened up. I'm gonna hide all of those back there. I split this big side piece of wood in half so that way I can take each one out to access the wires behind there because all the switches are back there. There was one big piece before, which would have meant I'd have to take apart the entire shelf just to get that piece off. But then I had like a, a little epiphany last night while I was laying in bed and I was like, oh, cut that piece in half, boom. Now, separate piece, separate piece. Bingo, bango, bongo. Now it's time to try and cut. I actually can't cut that one because I don't have hinges yet, damn it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna keep cutting things, I don't know. I have begun to build the frame for a bench that is gonna go the whole way along right there, basically all the way up to the kitchen, and then it will slide out to make another bed. That way I can sleep up there, guests can sleep there, and that's my plan. Just went to Home Depot, picked up the rest of the wood that I needed to finish the slide out bench bed combo guy. I'm pretty tired and my back hurts and I'm exhausted, but I'm going to finish this bed if it's the last thing I do today. morning I got all the rest of the cabinet doors cut this is going to be my table that'll be on my lagoon swivel mount all I did was took a paint can set it right there and uh, literally just like traced around it to make a rounded edge now I just need to cut out the rounded edges sand it stain it polyurethane it and install it these I am going to paint as soon as I'm done cutting this as well and that's how today is going yeah. I've recruited back up. Got my mom in here puttying and sanding all of my, uh, all the screw holes. So that way everything looks nice and clean. Mom, say hi to all of YouTube. <laughs> Stop being weird. Hi, YouTube. Oh, Jesus. And then got my dad sanding down my tabletop that I just cut. Cause getting uh, into a little time crunch. I'm trying to finish this thing as quickly as possible. Okay, so the last two days, my mom has been painting all of the cabinet doors that I cut. They finally all have like a million coats of paint on them and they're ready to go in. So I'm gonna put those in right now. Thank you, mom. Okay, just went out and picked up some steel, making a little swinging hinge dirt bike holder. That way I can bring this guy with me and he'll sit just like this and then you'll unlatch it and it'll swing all the way open so I can still use the back doors. I got most of the steel, but I gotta pick up more tomorrow when I at least get it going today.
heavy duty hinges on here. These hold 900 pounds, so that should be plenty to hold a 250 pound dirt bike. Okay, I've been putting this off for a long time, but I'm just starting to build a drawer for the kitchen. So I just cut that piece out that fits that whole space, getting ready to frame it in. I've been putting this off for a while because I don't really know how to do it. Uh, I just I don't, didn't want to do it, but I'm just, I got it. So that's what I'm doing right now. driving the ambulance downtown Pittsburgh right now to go get some keys made at this locksmith. He's the only guy that said yes to this job because he basically has to create me a key from scratch for all of the 12 outdoor compartments on this ambulance that I just realized yesterday I do not have a key for because they didn't give me one when I bought it. So having him make me a key from scratch, I hope, really hope it works out and uh, also a spare key for the ambulance because it has a chip inside of it and those are complicated to make, I guess. Not a lot of stores can do it. Doing that right now and then I will drive 45 minutes back home and keep working on the ambulance. Let's go. Okay, we're back home now. I got a whole bunch more pieces of wood that are all painted and ready to go in. I've been filming very sporadically, so I can't even remember what I've filmed already. So we have the rear air conditioner all closed up. We have the ceiling, the padded ceiling in here, so that way when you walk through the pass-through, you don't smash your head there. I still have this seat ripped out because I need this extra space to build a door across here somehow. Inverter's on, so I got the microwave. Everything's powered up. Everything is getting super, super close to being done. All the cabinets are on. I got this drawer installed that is not opening at the moment. Of course. There we go. Need to do a little bit of fine tuning on it to make it close and everything perfectly. Shelf put in right here. Got the gas strut to keep the door open. I just gotta hide those wires up in there that you can barely see anyways. Got the entire couch all built. The diesel heater comes through right here. I built this housing that goes over top of the hose for the diesel heater. So that way when I actually put things underneath here for storage, it doesn't smash my hose for the diesel heater. Everything's getting pretty damn close to being done. All right, the bus is back and they finally get to hang out together. So got my 2002 GMC Savannah 3500 that I've been living in for the last three years. And then the 2011 Chevy G4500 that I will be living in hopefully for the next few years as well. I'm positive all of my neighbors are just confused all the time because my sister's actually coming home soon and she has an ambulance as well. Her husband Gunner has a school bus, so there's two school buses, two ambulances, and it's just always something weird in our house. But I've been waiting to have these two parked right next to each other. A lot more similar in size than I had thought. I still think the ambulance is bigger though. But now it's time to flip the bus around and I'm going to take all of my belongings out of the bus and put them into the ambulance. I've been very excited to do this. Now that the ambulance and the school bus are 69ing, it'll be a lot easier to take things out of the door, into that door, and into all the storage compartments. So I'm gonna do that. And I don't, well, I'm not even gonna film that because it's just gonna, maybe I'll film it, I'll film it. At this point in the conversion, I wasn't really filming too much because I didn't want to give everything away at the end, but I've been cutting all of these cushions into different sizes to fit everything I need. This is Puff. She's the fattest of all the cats at my mom's house. My mom had been sewing all of them together with sections of a quilt that she bought at the store and then cut to fit everything appropriately. Also did a fresh oil change right before I hit the road. And now back to the video. My mom was up last night till about midnight finishing all of the cushions. Thank you, mother. We're just getting ready to throw them in for the very first time and see what it actually will look like completely finished inside the ambulance. So let's do it. Out 
with the old and in with the new. This one's just about ready to hit the road. I just got a couple more things to get out of there, but let's load it up. Well, at this point, the ambulance is pretty much completely finished. Kind of cut out on filming at the very end because I didn't want to show off everything until I do the final tour, which will be next Wednesday. I have an entire full walk around tour of every single thing that I've done to it. So that way, if you guys have been following along, you can see the completed project. And I appreciate you guys following this journey. It has been consuming my life for the last 69, 70 days, whatever it even was at this point, I don't even know. And I will see you guys next Wednesday. Peace. God, dude. Oh, Fuck yeah, Brandon. Hell yeah. Baby. Oh, beautiful. Nasty oh, dog. Oh,